I'm Steve from Blackthorn Forge. I've been watching some YouTube videos, some younger blacksmiths doing instruction on, on how to be a blacksmith. And I just took a little bit of an issue about what was being described and I'd like to address it, which is swinging the hammer and tapping the anvil. And I've watched some beginners this is a cold bar, but I just want to use it as an example. So working, two, three, hit, poo, and they hit, and then they hit. And I asked them, why are you hitting your anvil? And they go, well, it bounces up and it makes it easier to lift the hammer. And sorry, I think that defies the laws of physics. In order to get the hammer this high, you have to exert the same amount of energy down and up or just up. And the difference is if you use the bounce, you're gonna lose energy. So it actually takes more energy to get your hammer up to this high. And I think what they're getting confused about is they see blacksmiths do this. So yes, my hammer is impacting the anvil. I'm not hitting it. What I'm doing is relaxing in between moments. Maybe I'm thinking, maybe I'm resting my arm, but rather than break, and that takes a lot of muscle to stop, I'm relaxing and I'm just letting it drop. And then if I really wanna be efficient, when it bounces, I catch it on the up bounce. So I don't have to work as much lifting it up because it's already going in that direction. But I'm not pushing it down. I'm not trying to hit the hammer, hit the anvil. I'm allowing the hammer to drop, taking actually a rest, and then catching it, scooping it up on its way back up again. So, thinking there. What do I want to, oh, this is what I want to do. So that's what's happening, I'm relaxing. And the other part, well, we'll save that for another video. See you soon.